How's everybody doing? This is going to be a video response to Eric Bookhouse Boy 77. Congratulations on your 3,000 subscribers and becoming a YouTube partner. Well deserved. You're awesome. I've always enjoyed your videos and always enjoyed talking to you. He's having an awesome subscriber giveaway contest right now. He's giving away the Steelbook from Machete, which is an awesome Steelbook. I don't have it. I definitely want it. I love the movie. I would definitely like to add that to my collection. And good luck to everybody out there. And to enter, it's video response only for this contest, and you have to answer three questions. First one is he wants to know five random facts about you. So here's five random facts about me. First up, I was born on the border of Texas and Mexico. A little border town called El Paso. You might have heard of it, like the El Paso salsa and stuff like that. Fact number two, I have a chihuahua named Wrigley and it's his birthday today. He's six years old. Whose birthday is it? Whose birthday is it? And a lot of times when people try to pick him up, I always do that routine from uh, Silent Night, Deadly Night. You better run, boy. You better run for your life. And he gets all freaked out, pulls his ears back, and runs away from the person. It cracks me up, but it's probably not good for his social skills. He's a beast. He thinks he's big and tough anyways. I used to have a big German Shepherd Rottweiler mix, and everybody was afraid of that dog, but she was such a sweet dog. This guy, he's, he barks a lot, but he's all bark. But he's a good puppy. And yes, I get all corny, and I sing him happy birthday. He gives me unconditional love every day I get back from work and wags his tail and shows me all kinds of love, so it's the least I can do. Random fact number three, I used to be a vegetarian. I'm not anymore, but I was a vegetarian for a few years. Not because I cared about animals, I just didn't care for the taste of meat. Whenever I have meat now, I have to have lots of sauce and stuff on it. I like a good hamburger, a good hot dog, but it has to have lots of sauce. I still don't eat a lot of different kinds of meat, like I hate steak. It's just too chewy. It's too much work for food. I don't like bacon, I don't like sausage. The, just the taste, the idea of it just grosses me out. Even turkey bacon still tastes like regular bacon to me. I don't like it at all. But I do love fish, I love a good hamburger, but again, when I have like a hamburger or a hot dog or something like that, I have to have lots of sauce, but I love fish, and that's I'm good with fish. Me and fish are, me and fish are tight. Just basically red meat. I'm not that huge a fan of. Fact number four is I have a birthmark on my hand right here. And when I was younger at the playground, I used to like press it and pretend I was like Captain Power. I'd press it, and be like Power on. And I thought I was like a superhero, and I'd run around. I was a dorky kid. I'm still a dork, but I embrace my dorkiness. It's just one of my many imperfections. And I just have to accept it. and I have to embrace it because it's who I am. Love me for who I am. Fact number five is that I moved 17 times by the time I was 17. I grew up in a military family and moved around a lot. And I actually moved around about three more times after that point as well. One of my favorite places that I lived was Frankfurt, Germany. I lived there for four and a half years as a kid. And sadly, I didn't retain the language I wish I had. But when I moved back to the States, nobody spoke German. But I do remember a couple little sayings like Sprecher Sie Deutsch and Auf Wiedersehen, Bittersehen, thing, little things like that. I do miss Germany though, it was a beautiful place. I love the old world architecture. Where over there in Europe, it has you know castles and rich history. And over here in the US and the States, it's just all skyscrapers and new buildings. It just doesn't have that rich history. And I remember going on a cruise on the Rhine River when I was living in Germany, it was beautiful. You could see castles and ah, oh, I love it, I miss it. I definitely want to go back. The plus Oktoberfest, come on, you can't go wrong there. So those are my five random facts. Now on to question number two. If there was a fire, what one edition would you save, is what he wants to know. And the one edition I would save is the Futurama Complete Collection right here in the Bender Head. I know it's not complete now, I think there's another season after this, but I love this set. It's just, I love the way it looks. I love the design of it in the Bender Head. He's such an awesome character, by far my favorite character of the series. And I love the show, and this is just an awesome set. And you can check out my unboxing of this right here by clicking on Bender. It's a sweet set. Of course I would grab my dog and like my security lockbox with all my information, stuff like that. That would be the one addition I would save in a fire if I had the chance to. And question number three, in epic Eric fashion, he wants to know the last time you farted and what kind of fart it was. What was the sound of it? All that kind of information. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, my farts don't really smell. For a long time, I couldn't figure out why, and I, now I realize it's because I'm regular. I'm pretty regular, so my farts don't normally smell unless I have, like, Taco Bell or something like that. Taco Bell, it's nutrition and cleanser all in one. The last time I farted was this morning when I was walking my dog, and, you know, I just let out farts, like, pfft, nothing too great, nothing too grand. I definitely blamed it on my dog. I think one of the neighbors, like, peeked out. I was like, no, nah, it, was, it was Wrigley. It was my dog. My dog's like, what? But there you go. Those are the three questions. Very cool contest. Very generous of you. Love that steelbook. I would love to win that steelbook. But again, good luck to everybody out there who enters. Definitely check out Eric. Cool guy. He's a, he does Blu-ray, DVD updates, all kinds of things like that. Big into Twin Peaks. Just an awesome guy. Check out his channel. Link down below. And this will be linked to his subscriber giveaway contest. Hope everybody's doing well.
take care.